500, the chance that the student will be both under 30. Under 30 again means this shaded area outside of this first circle. Um, that it's under 30 and a high school graduate. Well, these are the ones that are not high school graduates. That means the ones that are high school graduates are the ones outside of this circle. Right? So what does that look like? Well, you're not going to count these guys. So the only things remaining that's in this shaded area are these guys on the outside. So then the question is, well, what's the probability of choosing one of these guys? Well, you just count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 out of 30 would be the ratio you're looking for, which is 1 out of, t 1 out of 3. So then you come back to this table, well, is that one of the answer choices? Yes, here it is, 1 out of 3. So that's your final answer. Um, choose it and move on. So again, this is a um, graphics interpretation question for integrated reasoning. You're given a graphic here and you're asked how do you analyze this graphic. You're given information and you should be able to spot that this is a Venn diagram. Um, they try to trick you here by giving you things like, you know, they give you the label 30 years of age or older, but really they're asking you, well, what's under 30? Well, you have to know that it's everything outside of that circle. And they don't do that just once, they do it multiple times. They do it again with high school graduates. High school graduates is actually the ones outside of the circle. And the tricky part is when you say both, no, we're not talking about both in the middle, we're talking about both outside of both circles. So in this case, you ended up with something like 5 out of 6. And the second one, we drew it again, and we realized, well, if you're going to count under 30, that's everything outside of this circle. And if it's a high school graduate, you do not count these four guys in this circle. You only count these top guys, and you divide it out of 30. The answer becomes 1 out of 3. So there you have it, 5 out of 6 and 1 out of 3.